Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshan and it's been a while since I made a video and uh, this video is very similar to the uh, video that I made a year ago uh, which was a Windows 7 Crux edition which is a, you know a custom Windows 7 build so it was meant for the you know lower hardware PCs and what I'm going to talk about today is Windows 10 uh, modded build so it is a custom Windows 10 build and lots of features are disabled are enabled by default and if you're familiar with Android custom ROM you should get the idea of a custom Windows 10 build so you won't receive a Windows 10 update for the future but uh, for, the, for the time being it's based on the latest May 29 update and you should be future proof for like uh, six months or so after that uh, if developer finds it uh, easy for himself then he will uh, surely give an update to this current build and we'll get the latest features as well so let's get into my computer and i'll give you a brief overview so here we have the details for the modified iso and you can see the the name of this uh, modified iso is called windows 10 0 extreme edition 2019 and uh, build number is 18362.175 and it is based on 19h1 development branch and you can verify this with the you know latest windows 10 update so this is the stable windows 10 build and uh, there are several features um, you know available for this and one of the things that uh, makes me happy at least uh, makes uh, most of them happy is the permanent activation so as you are using a custom windows 10 build you won't be able to activate it uh, with your you know normal license key because it won't be uh, you know it won't be um, connected to the uh, you know microsoft servers so it is activated by default and if you're going to download this and install this please do read uh, all, all of the stuff in here and uh, i'd not take any responsibility if you face any issue because this is not provided by me this is you know the author is white death uh, he's the one who made the iso file and uh, i'm just giving you a heads up uh, as you can see we have the file size is 3.96 gigabytes and um, one of the things that made me curious about this is the you know the last here you can see um, yeah you can see the deactivation deactivation of the startup time delay disable application time enabling a larger system cache uh, if you're using a hard disk or ssd improved disk check time which is five second improved system stopping speed improve windows stress response reduce launch time for desktop application at start and folder and file cache active so you can see lots of stuff have been modified and when i read this a feeling comes to my mind that it will be far more faster uh, rather than uh, than if you install a uh, regular windows 10 you know anything so it should be faster and we are going to try it so you need to make a bootable usb and so you will need at least 8 gigabytes of usb uh, in a pen drive so you need that if it is a 3.0 you know usb 3.0 it will be much faster for installation so whatever you have but use a faster usb it will be good so let's now go ahead and make the bootable usb so just follow me along if you don't know how to make a bootable usb so in order to make the usb bootable you need a bootable usb software so in this case i'm going to use universal usb installer i'll link the so this software uh, down in the description you can download it from there so you can also use rufus and you can also use a windows 7 usb dvd tool so but in this case i'm going to use universal usb installer just double click on that and launch it now click on i agree now select the distribution that we are going to use uh, so in our case it's windows 10 so that's why I just select the windows 10 installer down here it's very down and now browse the iso file and select that so click on browse and select the windows 10 zero extreme uh, edition 2019 and just click open now what you need to do is select the usb drive because i have already connected it you can see the usb drive it's 32 gigabytes just select that now click on ntfs format now click on wipe entire disk and click on create so now it's giving us a warning uh, so uh, as we have selected the wipe option it will delete everything on the usb and so make sure you back up your data now just click on yes and it will start uh, you know wiping the uh, usb drive and also uh, it will copy the iso file and make the usb bootable 
so this is gonna take some time so i'm gonna just fast forward this video so now power off your pc after your pc is completely powered down uh, press the power button at the time press f12 it will take me to the boot menu because I'm on Acer. If you're using any other laptop, then uh, please uh, check online or check at your manufacturer's website, uh, which key will take you to the boot menu. As you can see, the fourth option is USB HDD SanDisk, which is my pen drive. I'm gonna select that and press enter. As you can see, it is loading from my USB now. So I'll be fast forwarding this process, uh, you know, uh, bit by bit so that it does not take much time So friends, we have completed the installation and after installation, I did some tuning and all that stuff. I cleaned it all and uh, uh, you know, uh, did some basic adjustments here. So as you can see, this is the, you know, uh, Windows uh, 7 like start button and we have this Windows 7 like uh, um, uh, like here and we have the different icons which is totally themed. You know, this uh, whole uh, se setup is themed. You can see the library, you can see the icons here and all that and let me show you the uh, activation you can see the edition is windows 10 0 extreme edition 2019 and it is activated with the digital license so as you can see this is not activated by me let me show you the my um uh where is let me show you my account as you can see this is a local account i have in i have not uh, signed in with the microsoft account so you can see it is activated by default and uh, let me show you the windows defender you can see the windows defender is uh, disabled by default so you can see everything is grayed out and this won't work here you will have to install uh, antivirus uh, separately so that is one of the things you need to do other than that this uh, particular build feels very fast and very smooth uh, opening the library and all that everything is very fast i personally like it but this theme is a bit overwhelming uh, I'll, I might change this theme uh, to a more you know uh, good looking because some of the things aren't visible while you uh, use this uh, system uh, theme. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you have any issues or anything that you want to say to me please let me know in the comment section and if you like this video please hit the like button share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel and when you subscribe please hit the bell icon and also follow me on social media. I'll see you guys next video.